Chris, um, you've passed the baton tonight, but I guess there couldn't be too many players more worthy of, um, of obtaining the medal tonight as Carlton's best and fairest. Yeah, look, absolutely. He um, you know, just had an amazing year and I think he got a fair bit of credit for it outside of the club, but maybe not quite as much as he deserved, but certainly internally we, we knew how good a season he had and I think he was a, you know, a very deserving winner tonight. must be fantastic for you to be around the place to follow the journey of players like Murphy and Gibbs as they develop as players? Yeah, absolutely. You know, that was one of the appeals to, to coming to Carlton was that if we had some success to be a, a part of that from, from the ground up and, uh, and to be able to do that and to, to see the development of Murph and, and Bryce and you know, obviously Cruz who's, who's had a bit of a tough trot but you know, still really developing into a strong young leader of our club. It, it's, um, yeah, it's really exciting and you know, I think there's some, uh, some good times ahead. Do you believe that their improvement means that your workload has actually eased somewhat? Yeah, absolutely. I think certainly the the burden on any one person this year was was um, you know really that acceptable level, and, and certainly from my point of view, it was a much sort of easier easier year, if you like, than I've had in, in years gone by, and that's you know largely because of how well Mark played and and Bryce and you know blokes like Cade Simpson and Heath Scotland and uh, and Mitch Robinson as well. It's great to hear you say what an enjoyable season this season was and for Mark Murphy to say in a year that Carlton right now is a pretty good place to be. What's brought that on, do you believe? Oh, look, it's never just one thing. It's always a lot of different things. But look, I mean, if you look at our facility now, it's sort of world class. Um, you know, I think the addition of the new assistant coach has really had a, a big influence on, on, um, on the place this season. Um, you know, the combination of the fitness staff, the group getting a little bit older, so we're, we're starting to move out of that age where the players need to be flogged and flogged with training sessions where, you know, the loads are, are lightened a little bit. Um, so the combination of all those things and the, the fact that we had a, a reasonably successful season all, all played a big part in it being a, a, a good workplace to be at for the year. And uh, what's the immediate plans for yourself, Chris? You'll have a bit of a break and get back into it, I dare say, not too long from now? Yeah, no, just rest up, spend a bit of time with the family and, uh, and just have a relax, so looking forward to that. Life change for you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but, you know, for the better, it's been a, a, a great ride. Fantastic. Thanks, Chris. Well done again and um, see you in the new year, if not before. Thanks, Bruce. Cheers.